Okay. Welcome to the Chaos Common Metrics Working Group meeting for August 5th. Um, if, I'm just putting the attendees section in the notes. So if you want to go ahead and add yourself there and I don't know, something fun that's happening, something cool, a little bit about yourself, feel free to do that. Um, what to say? Okay, so we have um, we have a few things on the um, on the agenda. Let's start with let's review the action items so that we can just kind of mark some of that as. Uh, as done. So Kevin, you said that the collaboration platforms one is done. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. Um, and then Vinod, you had some action items on the clones metric. You're on mute. Yes, they are done. Uh, we just need to review them. Okay. Um, Okay, so we'll do that as part of the as part of the agenda. Is there anything else that we need to add to the agenda today? I don't think so. I think it's going to be covered with issues and PRs. I'm always just kind of wondering if the automated release has dropped anything in here, but we'll see that. Okay. Well, let's let's start with that then. I'll go ahead and share my screen while we look at the um, issues. PRs. Uh, can everybody see that? Perfect. Okay. So it looks like we don't have any pull requests, so that's easy. Um, issues. So we've got. Um, a couple of things in the metrics candidate release. Kevin, do you want to just talk about those quickly? Uh, so if they've yeah, if they've labeled if they've been labeled metrics candidate release, they are officially on the website. So we have uh, we've sent three metrics to the uh, uh, as part of the continuous release process. We have sent three metrics in. So it is uh, or I'm sorry, not three metrics, but uh, two metrics, and we've re we're renaming our focus areas. That's the other bit. Uh, so, I mean, that's just, that's just the continuous re release process stuff. So. Okay. And I, I just took a, quick look look at those, I took a quick look at those issues and it doesn't look like there are any comments for us to address in those. So I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. Usually those um, comments, if they're going to come, they don't come in until we officially enter the review period which yeah. is the 30 days prior to the official release. Uh, and when, oh, okay. sorry, when sorry. is the official, when is the official release? I uh, the official release is in October. Oh, okay. So we have loads of time. Uh, not loads of time because uh, <laughs> I think the, if it's in October, that means that the review period is going to start in September. Oh, that's true. So. Uh, but I recall in the last uh, journal meeting, it was announced that re uh, release has been stopped, like uh, further release for uh, from August one. Is that correct? No, because it was discussed in the journal meeting, and I said that's what I recall. When this last meeting in uh, in Georg, and Georg told that it is a freeze from August one. Uh, I think he may have been mistaken, but let me look at, is it in the notes? So I, I wasn't, or was I, I was at that meeting, wasn't I? No. In general? No. That's the Chaos Weekly? Yeah. Yes. Metrics freeze, every six months re-release, freezes two days ago, August 1st. I think he's mistaken. So I believe the uh, the release time, and I'll, I'll go through and see if I can find it in the notes. But I believe the uh, the release the release dates are meant to correspond about six months apart. So if the uh, if we're releasing in 
because the, the first of the month release is pushed back, this one is pushed back as well. So I believe that the, uh, the release date is October, the first week of October, and September should be the, uh, the freeze and okay. review period. Uh, I will go through and take a peek at that. I'm sure those are, we have those notes somewhere. Yeah, can uh, you, I'm just going to give you the action item to um, confirm the release date and the freeze timing and then maybe yeah. send an update to the mailing list because this seems to be causing some confusion. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, one more question on the three release metrics. Has all these three been uh, issued or uh, like uh, requested in the translation repo? Like, or the translation of these three release metrics. All right, so we're kind of sorting this process out right now. So Don, if you could click on um, release notes, 106. So here we should add the new metrics, the three that are going to be released. Okay, in regards to the right, timing, I can do it too, but okay. In regards to the timing, by the way, so the initial the initial dates had been set for a March release and a September release. So we actually did discuss that, uh, and that was that was uh, part of the plan. However. I and I believe this may have actually come from Sean. Uh, I think there was discussion of pulling it back. So this, the release we did this year, so it is labeled 2021-03, but we actually released that in April, I believe, uh, that first week of April. Uh, so I believe the I believe the plan was to move everything back a month. So do an April release and a October release. Uh, but I don't see, I don't see anything in the documentation for it. Personally, I think that makes more sense to me because the February release was always really hard because of the holidays mm -hmm. and a September release is also really hard because so many people are out in August. Yeah. And I think that was, that was part of the discussion we had. And I, I'm pretty sure Sean is the one that brought that forward initially. Uh, and I'm, I'm uh, yeah I'm 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 about ninety five percent positive that's what was it was discussed in in the community meeting and we had decided to go with it and I think the we just didn't change the dates on the uh, we have a tentative release dates on the web page that tells when the next freeze is going to happen we just didn't change those dates uh, so according to the documentation here, Georg is right. The freeze started October, August 1st, uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we made that switch and we just never got the documentation changed. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I was just adding the, um, the three that we've talked about already here. Um, but back to Vinod's question about translation, Matt, I think you started to answer that and then we got a little bit sidetracked. Was there something else you were going to say about? Yeah. So right now there's a, we're working on, there's a document that we're working on. And so there's two ways that the, it looks like that the working groups will signal to the translation team that there are new metrics or revised metrics. And one is, and really, there's really no change um, based on what we're doing here. So it's just marking those new metrics in that document that you're, you know, the or the issue that you're in right now, um, and having the tag which we already have, like uh, metrics release candidate or whatever the name of the tag is, 
And then in the, so it's all good here. And then I can get rid of my, my comment. Oh, sorry. Did That's okay. I was, in the, I'll just delete it. Um, and then in, I think in the translations repository, so just chaos slash translations, we would open an issue that says the common working group has three new metrics that are going to need to be translated. Uh, is that right, Kevin? No, oh, we, yes. we, we, open, we open an issue for each new metric. An issue for each new metric, okay. Right. So that issue, so that issue needs to correspond with the metric that we've created in our repository to collect comments, right? So basically create that issue at the same time, link that issue back to the comment issue in your working group. And then you need to add language tags to the to the issue. Can you so, do an example of what one might look like? Yeah. yeah. In the translations. You want me to do it right now? Yeah, that'd be helpful. Share, share the screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, because we released one metric in the risk working group and I created an issue in the translation and it got translated in the Chinese now. Oh, excellent. Nice job. That's exactly yeah. what we're, that's, that's but exactly the process. So the, but I haven't done any tagging. I just opened an issue in the translation that uh, this working group has released this particular metric and this is the link to the metric. And then it got translated. So just for, uh, just for consistency. Okay. So the, the way that, uh, so right now we only have the Chinese translation team working, yep. right? However, in the future, we may have more translation teams working. So uh, the, way, the way that we need to sort that is we need to prevent one of the teams from closing the issue if it hasn't been translated in the other language. So when we create the issue, what we'll do is we'll, we'll tag those issues with the appropriate language. And then when they're done translating them, they can remove the tag for their, for their translation team. Okay. Uh, Are you are you doing the issue, Kevin? Can you just share your yeah. screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, with my old eyes, even. <laughs> and we haven't, so we don't have the, uh, we haven't created the, the template for what we would want to put in here yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. However, we know that we need to link to, we know that we want to link to this issue. Okay. So it just links to the issue that is the issue in common. That's right. It. Okay. So, so if they follow the link there, they can see what comments are being made. And that link should have links to the uh, the markdown itself. It should have links to the website. Should uh, so, you okay? So the new this is really the only new step that we would be asking the working groups to do, and I don't want to put too much of a burden on them to do it. So I would rather just let's create it, tag it, we link it to the working group site. So the the goal would be to get the we want the translation team to go to the working group site to see the markdown. Could, should we in the title or in the body add the working group? Yes, yeah. And uh, yeah, we can do uh, maybe something, something like this. Uh, Common. Okay. Yeah. Just, and like I said, we, we don't have the, uh, we haven't actually discussed what this standard yeah. document sure. would look like, but uh, we can we can create a template for what it would look like. Okay. Uh, well, I will... We haven't created any of the labels yet for it either. However, let's just do that right now. Yeah. So the new label uh, would be. Actually, it could just be Chinese. Uh, okay. 
something like that. Uh, and we can be more explicit with it if we want. We could sure. change that label to. Okay, well, I'll do the other two then that Don has in the common issue thing. I'll get those over here into translations right now. Let me go back to oh, was that? issues. Uh, hey, Matt, I'll give you that okay. item for that. What? Oh, I said, Matt, I'll oh, give you the oh, item. Gotcha. Okay, is there anything more that we need to talk about on the translation? No, I think that's it. Okay. Well, Kevin, if you want to unshare your screen, I will go back to sharing mine. And we can see if there's anything we need to talk about on any of the other issues. Okay. Um, so we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about uh, clones because that's on the agenda. Um, how are we doing on bot activity? Where's that one, Matt? We made pretty good progress. I think it's pretty close to being done. To be honest with you. Okay. You can take a look at it if you'd like. Or if you want to go to clones, we I think we made progress on both of them. Yeah. And both are I think approaching done this. Yep. Okay. Um, I think the drive by drive through contributions one. I assume that still needs a bit more time. Um, okay, so on the agenda, let me just, let me just drop this into the shared screen. Um, did we review the metrics spreadsheet in the last meeting? I couldn't remember, so I added it to the list in case you wanted to do it now. I don't, I mean, we always kind of do, but probably not like systematically or anything like that. Let's just take a quick look and make sure that things are up to date. And then we can talk about the other metrics. Um, okay, so we've got a couple in progress. Bot activity, episodic contributors. Language distribution, clones. Um, a couple that Daniel's working on, he's not here. And event locations, which is also on the agenda for today. I think this looks pretty good. And does anybody else see anything that we need to talk about on the spreadsheet? But no, I think you're on mute, but I see your lips moving. Yeah, so three which are uh, release metrics, are they marked as release or under community review? I'm not sure because they, these three should be under community review rather than released. Ah, the very seldom used under review label. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. I've already forgotten what those three metrics were. Collaboration platform activity probably down in the did somebody already change that uh oh, it should be so it shouldn't be ready it should be i think there actually is an under review isn't there there should be yeah they should be under a community review is there... no it's not it's not one of the drop in the drop down that's weird huh. are, are the drop downs specific to the tab 
and I, apparently so because because <laughs> we do have that that's super weird right um is it the purple color did we just change the name of the ready is it... maybe it's really what's, weird. what's it look like in the other working? yeah i was just gonna look at yeah, we have one. under community review in the ready yeah, for release great. under community review is yellow we have one in the value under community yeah. review yeah mm -hmm. i see that we just don't have it in <laughs> left out for common it's up here yeah not in the drop down Sorry, what were the other two metrics? Uh, language distribution and focus area renaming. Yeah, we just have the, the two, the focus area renaming is, is out there. Uh, language, language distribution has an under community review. Huh, Didn't interesting. <laughs> so it's just a row by row. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so I, I don't know how to fix that, so I will. Um... I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Excel things are weird to me. They're a little okay. like magic uh, sometimes. <laughs> so, Matt G to fix. Like I said, I'll try. Um. Well, the person who designed it was, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Uh, Mon Monte uh, Monte I guess. Yeah, I think it was Sala. Sala. Uh, yeah, Sal Sala. Sala did it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, so he'd be the one to ask, and he's pretty responsive on Slack, so if you can't figure yeah. it out, he's the one to talk to. Um, okay, collaboration platforms is done. Um, hey, real quick, yeah. uh, back to the, uh, the release issue. Do you want me to send out an email or do we just want to add that to the agenda for the next meeting for the release dates? I think that's next, important enough. Meeting. I would send an email. I would send an email to the entire, uh, like the whole chaos mailing list, because I think that's important enough that people don't always read the meetings if they miss a meeting. Okay. We'll do. And maybe slack general as well okay that's a good idea um okay so Vinod, you had the action items on on the clones metrics so maybe let's talk about that one and then um where are we on the space one sorry event location that i don't so I, I took remember. so I I took a peek at it and uh, it's so it's a it's a really simple metric. Uh, I think we can advance it. I think it's pretty much ready to go. I think there's a little bit of editing needs that needs to be done, uh, but I don't think we need to add too much more to it because it's I mean it's quite literally where is the event occurring. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that's why I added it back into the, so I, I had taken it as an action item to take a look at it and try to advance it. And my, my takeaway is basically it's, it's a simple metric. Let's just move it forward as is. Uh, okay. We'll see, see, if, uh, see if you all agree. I believe, uh, I think Elizabeth had uh, uh, done the majority of the work on this one. um should we should work on it now to advance it or since elizabeth's done a lot of the work on it should we maybe punt it off to next week or two weeks yeah, well, and, i think the reason the reason that i had taken it as an action item is because she had done a lot of the work on it and she wanted uh just another pair of eyes to look at okay. it uh, i think i think it's ready to uh we could peek at it as a group and say yay or nay to uh to sending it to release 
but but as I said, it's a it's a simple metric, and I, I think we need to resist the urge to make it more complicated than it than it is. It's just okay. Well, let's just take a quick look at it and see what we see what we think. Does anybody have any issues with this metric? This metric questions about it? Not really. It's um, like Kevin said, it's pretty yeah, pretty straightforward. Okay, I would agree. Um, maybe we just need to add the contributors at the bottom. Um, and I, I was just thinking about adding an example of uh, from the. The Linux Foundation event page might be a nice example. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like and would that be, where would that go? Would that be not really visualizations? Uh, shared calendar, maybe tools providing the, or look on website. So in data collection strategies, look on website. That could be, a, for example, Like that, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Look on project or foundation websites. So Kevin, do you want to take the action item to PR this onto the website or should we give that to Elizabeth when she comes back? Oh. I can, I can take it, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to drop off here just at the bottom of the hour. Did okay. You, did you need anything from me on the, yeah, that one? On no, I'm going to, to be honest, it's um, like you said, it's already the bottom of the hour. I think we can move the clones metric forward. And then what I'm going to do is add this to the agenda for next time. Okay. If that's all right. Yeah, and then we can just put closure to that. And then, okay, right on. Thank you. Perfect. Matt, just as a heads up, AMPSIS is next week. So I am probably going to miss most of the chaos meetings. That's fine. I'll, I'll get to the ones that I can, but the, uh, the times on those kind of correspond with uh, some of the, the AMPSIS stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, Sounds good. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. So, Vinod, maybe see you later, Matt. Yeah. Um, Vinod, do you want to share your screen so that we can talk about the phone? Just, just, just a second. Yeah, no worries. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. So the work was mostly done. I have just uh, refined this, like added the source of the image or uh, 
this line is was not added last time i've added this line extra like we we just had a note of technical folk but the, why we needed it was not clear so i've added this line maybe just look at this that's perfect and then did you put a did you put a pr in to make this same change not in the yet technical fork one not yet because i was not clear what is the process of uh, changing the existing release metric which i got clarity in the last uh, common meeting and uh, uh, like uh, general meeting and then i'll do it once we agree on this because that needs to be with the same formatting on that so i was like let me get the confirmation everybody agrees that this is fine i'll create a pr for the technical form for that Okay. okay, I'll update the action item in the notes yeah. today that will that you'll do that after we agree on this metric. Did you, yes. did you get uh, are you clear on what that process is on editing, editing yes. the metric I, when you send it back yeah. into review? Yeah, so since there will be not a major change, so I'll just uh, make the minor edits in the and then create a PR for that. So that one's in the continuous review process now, right? It wasn't released or was it released? It, it was released. Technical folk was released last time. Okay. Yeah. So it, it will go back into the review process. Yes. Okay. So just make sure you create an issue, issue for that. So, okay. Okay. So the, the release comment issue, make sure yep. you create that release comment issue. Okay. And one more thing on this metric was I need to get the visualization. I contacted uh, both the teams, Augur and uh, Grimoire Lab, but none of them provided me the visualization. So they said it, Grimoire Lab all said it can be implemented, but it is not implemented. I provided them the API, like how to get this data, but I haven't received any visualization. So I would say for right now, I don't have any visualizations for the cloud. So this one, this one is a direct result of discussions with Sean yes. uh, about the difference between technical forks and clones, and uh, also some of the work that uh, uh, that you and I are doing. Yep. Uh, so I would say that the the Augur is the one that would be able to provide the, uh, the visualization uh, for this. Uh, I even contacted the Augur. They have not provided me the visualization. So uh, they, they just I, haven't, re they haven't responded or they've told you, no, we, we don't have that. I don't recall. They didn't, uh, they don't have responded, I guess. Let me, I can quickly okay. look at it. But so Grimoire Lab, I had a detailed discussion. They were looking for, is there an API to extract the data? I provided them the API, but then I didn't uh, got any response of implementation. They will implement when I don't know. Okay. Well, let's let's bug Sean then. We'll, we'll yeah. bug Sean. Uh, uh, so we'll harass him until he gets that for us. Okay. So sh yes, I recall. I saw in the chat Sean asked me to create an issue in the auger, and I created the issue for that. Like they need an issue to implement this feature. So I've created an Oh, issue. they need it. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I, I've created the issue in the Augur repo for implementing this particular uh, met, like uh, provide a visualization or implement the clone option. But they haven't provided me them with like, any update on this. Yeah, I think maybe what's going on here is that it's something that Sean measures but hasn't visualized yet, is my guess. Yes. Okay. So like for visualization, we'll not have anything as of now. In the past, we've sometimes included visualizations from other tools. So we could look around and see if we can find um, any other, I don't know, other tools, um, visualized clones. Yeah, but I, uh, I'm not sure. I tried to look at it, but I didn't find anything. So I, that's where I was like, I don't know. So this is something that GitHub like straight up measures in their interface, right? This is uh, that GitHub might be the whole reason we have this metric in the first place. So I think uh, yes. 
and GitHub itself has visualizations of uh, yes. of their of their metrics. So perhaps we just go back to the beginning and do a, a GitHub visualization. I know we, we don't do that that often. Perhaps we should I, do it a little I bit more. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Oh, no, you can. No. Like you can look at forks, but clones yes. is something. Hey, I think it's not the, available. Yeah, Did Sean you, and I talked about this. It's available oh. in the API, but I think I think it's only it must be only available in the, like the events API because you only get the data for a short period of time and then it goes away. Uh, so now they have released an API. Earlier it was only to the who are the project owner they can see the clones, but now okay. they've opened an API which everybody can access. But uh, visualization is still not in that uh, like uh, trend line or whatever they show, whatever the visualization is. Clone is not at there still. Oh, interesting. Uh, I have okay, provided so the link to the API in the references. How about this? GitHub has a blog. Uh, and within the blog, they have actually talked about clones and graphing clones. These are traffic, traffic graphs. Traffic clones, okay. I don't know from, from where did they got, I don't think this is available on GitHub. Uh, oh, no, no, they're, they have yeah. access to all the information, so I'm sure yes. they're, uh, it must be their internal, but we can use this and cite this as a source. So maybe if that is fine, we can copy this graph and cite this blog as a source for this image. So this would be a visualization, right? So then, yes. So it doesn't necessarily, so the visualizations don't necessarily have to be connected to Augur or Grimoire Lab. It's, yep. it's quite yep. obvious that. I mean, so GitHub did this, so they are obviously using the GitHub API to so, pull the data and then create the visualization in some fashion. So, uh, okay. and I think we had, we had talked about that as well, like using, so yep. tools providing the metric, you know, we can quite literally say uh, GraphQL and the GitHub API as a, either as a, as a tool providing the metric or a data collection strategy, although I think that's probably a field. Um, and I, I think that's something we don't do enough of either. So oftentimes we just fall into tools providing the metric, Augur or Gmore Lab. And that's, uh, that is not an accurate uh, depiction of the world. So, so how for example, about now? if I were pulling this, if I were pulling this data myself, I would use probably GraphQL and the GitHub API and probably R Studio or something. So I have added it to what I would say that you probably just want to delete the tools providing the metric because there isn't really a tool providing it. Like Kevin said, you'd sort of have to cobble yeah. it together with the API and some visualization yeah. tools. Yeah. Yeah. Remove the optional bit there. Leave tools providing yeah. the metric uh, empty. And then in data collection strategies, why don't you put uh, something to the effect of uh, querying GitHub API? Or so remember our last discussion, we decided that these are the ways to collect the data, but not the like strategies. Initially, I put this uh, GitHub API reference in the data collection strategy, then we removed it and moved it to the references. I think the data collection strategies is probably not relevant for this one, because I think it's yeah. more like for things that you have to survey and things that have yes. kind of okay. different types yeah. of different ways of collecting mm -hmm. the data. This is so straightforward that in, I, in, I would just entirely yeah in that case tools providing the metric is probably we probably do have to include github api and the github api in that query querying a, using some sort of tool to query the github api so 
So I have referenced it over here in this mm -hmm. reference section, GitHub API. I would, to be honest, I would just delete these two sections like that. Do we delete them or do we leave them blank? I don't remember. I, I don't know what the... Uh, so in is. some of the release, it has been kept it as a blank, but now when we were developing the checklist, we decided to keep uh, like remove them. Since they are not there, they're not adding anything. We just remove those okay. uh, optional sections. Okay. I haven't looked at the checklist yet, so yeah. I need to do that. I need to look at the checklist. Yeah. Put that in my action items. So I think now this is ready to go. If you all say, then I can create a pull request for this one, and then I'll create a pull request for technical folk and like make the language same for both the metrics. Yeah, I think this looks good. I, I'm comfortable with you creating a pull request for it. Okay, okay, then I'll do it. Okay, I think we have, we have actually reached the end of our agenda. Does anybody have any other quick topics you wanna to discuss in the last five minutes? Not really. Okay. All right. I think we're in good shape. This is, uh, thank you so much, Kevin, for the work on the uh, um, event location and Vinod for the work on the, the clones. I think these are, these are looking really good. I feel like I Comet's going to be well represented in the next, uh, next release. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Just to be clear, most of that work was done by Elizabeth on mine. I really just looked at it and said, this looks good. <laughs> Made a few small edits, so that that was primarily her. So, we'll go, Elizabeth, even though she's not here. Okay. Well, I think we're I think we're in good shape then. Thank you both yep. so much, and we'll see you uh, in other meetings next week. Yep. See you. All right. Take care. Bye bye.